Okay. Yeah, that's true. Right. But so I just feel like you tell me they don't know. I, I feel <laughs> like had had it not originated in the way that it did, it wouldn't have spread the way that it spread. It didn't it didn't go to certain communities. It went to black communities. And I think and I don't think that was by chance. Well, meth is a primarily white drug. Same thing. I just think that that meth is like the the the, but, but, the redneck crack. <laughs> but, <laughs> but rednecks take all drugs so technically but yeah that might be their one of choice but people can say I don't know but I just don't feel like that's the same but I see where you're trying to come from as far as when you're saying how it, uh, how it relates to Pill Cosby for real Yeah, you guys can call him Pill Cosby forever I am because it was so clever <laughs> <laughs> it was you guys so ever clever seen, I think it was on a family I think it was a family guy where they did the thing where it was Bill Cosby it was the opening do 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 do, but all the wimp female characters in the show were all passed out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's funny. That's that is that's, that's funny. bad, but funny at the same time. How many women came out against uh, Pill? Oh my God, just I don't know. At the one time, I think they had that article. It was like it was like twenty, but so now we all do know now that some of them have already recanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, uh, some of them have been found to be. Uh, telling falsehoods there were some bandwagoners like pip and i said that a long time ago that you know there were some people in there just jumping on the bandwagon janet and dickinson that's, yeah and that's and that's a shame because that dilutes the 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 case for all the other women who weren't and it's like oh okay she's lying it's like they all lying or how many of them are lying or you know which we all you know let's be real we know like not a hundred women got together and said let's take down bill cosby right, right. you know that's and y'all need to stop with this stupid ass. He was trying to buy NBC bullshit. Uh, that's like the worst conspiracy theory I have ever heard in my fucking life. That he was trying to buy NBC for what? That's why he was drugging people. No, they're trying to say the reason that's why they they're trying to take him down is because he was trying to buy NBC. Oh, you know, you know what? If he was trying to buy NBC and they didn't want him to buy it, all they have to do is like, we're not selling. Right. <laughs> that's right. all they have to do. That's true. They don't have to set him up. That's Come true. on now, that's the that y'all on these conspiracy theories. They are so ridiculous. That's the by far the worst one not, ever. Not only that, let, let's put a let's put an old person in prison <laughs> for the rest of their life because we don't want them to own a network. Right. Down we don't, we don't want a black man to own a network so bad. We're gonna put his ass in jail. We're gonna frame him and put him in jail. Come on well. now. Come on. <laughs> Lee and Daniels. Tr- Lee Daniels wrote that conspiracy theory, right? And, and, tr- and <laughs> trust, like episode of Empire. Here's some, you, you guys know who, you, you know you know who Summer Sum, Sumner Redstone is. I don't. Sumner Redstone is one of the richest men in Hollywood. He owns like a lot of companies in Hollywood. He's a big time producer, but he's a hard ass, and he's old. Mm-hmm. He, he's almost damn near ninety. He's wow. in the 80s. But he owns like I want to say like he owns like Viacom or something like that. He's mm-hmm. like a big deal. Mm-hmm. He's not well liked. But that's how he got to be rich, actually, right? Right. Not being well liked, and he don't care that you don't like him. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to take him down. Mm-hmm. They would do that to him before they <laughs> right. <get out>. <laughs> <laughs> right. And he yeah. white. Exactly. I feel that. So, and the uh, Meek Mill has been released. About I guess, time. There's yes. Like, so never been locked up. No. So I guess uh, Peel and Meek are part of the 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 black. Prison, prison exchange black male prison exchange <laughs> <laughs> a and young for the old one, let, comes out, one comes out one goes, out goes out in 52,000 go in <laughs> 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 yeah it's all right but yeah uh meek mill he was uh in uh incarcerated late what late last year like like september or something october september last year for no it was longer than that ago longer than that right mm, it's been since we we talked about it on the show yeah and been. we've only been going since last summer okay since July, yeah so uh he was in there for parole violations but the supreme court not just any court but supreme the supreme court, court the highest court in our land mm-hmm. they decided to let him go because the one of the witnesses a cop in his original case, had credibility issues, which mm. Meek has been talking about from the beginning. From the beginning, from right. the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and play that clip real quick. The well-known rapper Meek Mill, whose imprisonment on gun and drug charges through widespread protests, celebrated his freedom last night at an NBA game. Mill rode a helicopter from a Pennsylvania prison to Philadelphia, <laughs> where he attended the 76ers playoff game. He rang a ceremonial bell before tip-off. Hours earlier, Pennsylvania's Supreme Court ordered the 30-year-old's release. The court cited credibility problems with a key witness in his original trial 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Drika Duncan is in Philadelphia with how 
how his imprisonment triggered a public outcry. Tarika, good morning. Good morning. We sat down with the attorney for Meek Mill after the Sixers game. He said that this experience has been life-changing for his client. Meek Mill said that he called this experience a nightmare, uh, but he was obviously elated to finally spend his first night here in Philadelphia a free man. Meek Mill was back among friends and fans at Tuesday night's playoff game for his beloved Philadelphia 76ers. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel great. He met with comedian Kevin Hart in the locker room. I say we home, no Meek. Before tip off. Meek Mill ringing the bell, the ceremonial bell. His attorney, Brian McMonagall, called the honor symbolic. He was ringing a bell for people like himself um, who have been run down by the system hmm. and at some point in time get justice for themselves. Back when I was broke, that was cool with it. Mill, whose legal name is Robert Ramik Williams, foreshadowed his release in a recent music video, reportedly shot prior to his time in jail. I feel like a free slave. You know? Meek like Mill was convicted on gun and drug charges in 2008. He reportedly served eight months before being paroled, but in November, a Philadelphia judge sentenced him to two to four years in prison for parole violations including reckless driving, popping wheelies on a dirt bike. While the judge has insisted she presided over the matter fairly, supporters for Mill found the punishment overly harsh. The case attracted national attention with everyone from Reverend Al Sharpton to the New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft visiting Mill in jail. Tuesday, Pennsylvania's Supreme Court ordered Mill's release on bail and a new hearing, saying there were credibility issues with a police officer who was a critical witness at Mill's original trial. Why do you think this case resonated with so many people? Because you never find out about it. It happens every day. When the message goes out that this can happen to him, and it's happening hmm. to young men across this country, well, suddenly here we are. And that was Jerika Duncan reporting from... Now, um, I would like to know the details, you know, like what are the credibility issues and what are the just the whole circumstance, the whole story around his original arrest. I don't know it. And I, I haven't I haven't heard it. I just know that Meek has been saying that, you know, that he was falsely arrested mm -hmm. um, since, you know, since since the beginning. So I was just curious about that. Like exactly is going on do you guys have either you guys know. ever heard no no but no. I, man, I imagine that his, his lawyers and i mean that that's what helped me if, if you're meek mill versus like a regular joe but his lawyers probably went through every single thing and if he thought there was something wrong with this cop or whoever this witness was they they probably looked at their disposition and the court what they said in court and if just one thing didn't match up or something like that and then right work from there yeah. yeah that's what i imagine i don't know right well, I'm pretty sure this is just going to, like, scratch off the scab of a lot more with this officer. Because if he has credibility issues and it caused him to... There might be other cases. It's gonna be, it might be other cases. Um, I feel like this is very, very sad. Um, because I, th I even think that um, during the time when Meek Mills was arrested, he was going through that beef with Drake or something like that. And right. the judge ordered him, like, he couldn't make any more music. It was just really... Harsh. Odd. Yeah. It was like, not only was it harsh, it was strange. Like, why, what does his music have to do with, with any, you know, with anything or how he makes, or, you know, he's a rapper. You know that that's his livelihood. Why would you stop him from doing that? It just see, it's Because just they were thinking odd. that he wasn't taking his punishment serious enough, I think, in their way, in their way, you know, because again, it also, part of that, especially with, during that Drake stuff, part of what made his raps and uh, so, like, popular was the fact that he was doing them for prison some of them it's like oh mm -hmm. he, he he making this a hit from behind bars yeah and the judge didn't care for that no she didn't i just feel like that was a reach so many other artists have done similar things but i feel like she yes. it was just the whole situation was odd the judge the officer his amount of time that he had to serve, everything just didn't make sense. And I feel like this happens to so many nigga. yeah i feel like this happens to so many Black people. I feel like this happens to so many black people. Just because he has pride, just because he's a strong black man doesn't mean that he deserves a harsher punishment.
Yeah, if you uppity, you going you going down. Yeah, we Which talked is about fucked up. We've talked about that before. That's fucked up. America, yeah. America don't you can't like have you confidence. Don't. don't be an uppity black man. That's like the biggest crime. Don't ever. think don't think like wait a minute, I know I'm right. Right's on my side and I am I'm gonna stand here with my chest held high because I did nothing wrong. I'm cool. I'm gonna keep going until y'all figure it out. Oh right. no, you not <laughs> <laughs> You gonna humble yourself. Humble yourself, right. Act like you did something wrong if you didn't. Alexi Jermash is like the laziest mailman <laughs> in the world. He got busted with over with approximately seventeen thousand pieces of mail that dates back to the Eisenhower Eisenhower administration. <laughs> 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 and uh, no, real talk though, he's got mail going back to two thousand five. What? Yes, it's, that he'd been hoarding. But it, wow. in fairness, it's probably all Citibank. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Bank of America. Bank of America, like Statements. credit cards. No, no, no. <laughs> like, like the all them little things. That, all that junk. It's just all the junk, junk mail. mail. Mm, all like the little debit card mail. bullshit. Because don't, don't nobody mail letters. That's true. It is true that they did say that most of it is junk mail, and that a lot of people on his route didn't even notice anything. <laughs> any because it was. Just, he's actually doing them. Fa- as a matter of yeah. fact, can I get him as my mailman? Okay. Because he's we like, threw my shit. Yeah, I don't need all these goddamn. He's circulars. like a human spam filter. <laughs> Thank you. I could use that. Take out that bullshit chase fucking right. shit that they send me every month for the fifty dollars cash back. I ain't signing up with y'all. Here's what you need to leave me: some pollo loco coupon. <laughs> oh, the funny thing about please it, please God. Funny thing about it, a soup is, plantation. He, he says he was overwhelmed and he prioritized the mail. So I'm like, <laughs> motherfucker, if you wasn't sitting there reading people's mail, right? trying to decide what was important, you'd have time to deliver all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't nobody ask you to be like, oh, okay, uh, let's you see. You don't this. need that. Nah. <laughs> Letter from daddy from jail, fuck that. No. You don't need that. that. Gonna hurt our feelings. Nah. <laughs> Not delivering it. Right? <laughs> I wonder how he decided, like, you know what? I'm going to do this block and this block on. Mondays and Tuesdays, <laughs> and this block on this block on Wednesday and Thursday, and fuck everybody else on Friday. I'm just didn't he have mail in his locker at work? He had mail at home in his car <laughs> and his work locker. He wasn't giving a fuck about the mail. This fuck had, you and your mail. He that's, had mail stashed like bodies. Okay, that's how, that's how he sorted it when he got to work. Like, no, he was at home locker, on his couch. Locker, home, car. <laughs> <laughs> House, locker, comb, heart, car, occupant. <laughs> Deliver. And the way he got busted, he has so much mail that, like, as he going in and out of his house, neighbors saw glimpses of just bags of mail. Wow. Sitting in the background, like pot, like 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 a, a, a pot, like a crock of gold or some shit. Right. <laughs> like a bag of laundry. And they dropped a dime on him. Yeah, I would have too. Like, and, nigga, yeah. you probably got some of my mail over there. Right. So. I know you got my check, Miller. <laughs> I know you got my check. <laughs> and I'll be harassing my mailman. If, I, if I'm expecting a check, I'll be on him. Like, you got my check? I'm expecting a check. So I can only imagine what people were doing. Where are my to him. W-2s, Alexi? Okay. Alexi, where are my W-2s at? It's, Hello? It's March 1st. <laughs> <laughs> I would say literally 95% of my mail is junk mail and mail. That I don't need, yeah, or one whatever. Every, Absolutely, every For now sure. and then, like I just yesterday, I got my uh, our car registration renewal and our uh, insurance renewals all at the you know at the same time. Mm-hmm. And now I probably won't get another real piece of mail that I actually need for probably another six, seven, eight months. Same wow. here. All my statements are they're all online. Yeah, everything is online. All the bills are online. Yeah, some stuff I get is like it's a double. You know what I mean? Like I already get mm-hmm. the online version. And they haven't canceled the paper version for whatever reason. But, yeah, it's like 90% of it is solicitations and yeah. stuff. I don't want people trying to buy my house. Right. I yeah. get so freaking much of the uh, grocery store circulars, like oh, the yeah. weekly grocery store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, in my neighborhood, is, I live in between so many markets. So oh. we get them from every. That's kind of good. Ugh. Well, not good that you get all that that wasted, you know. Paper, right, but, but I shop at you... the same. I shop at the same market every time. I shop at Food for Less. If I go into Vons, it's because I'm right there. It's not because I saw some shit on the circular. <laughs> I'm just, but it's just good being that real. You guys, that's centrally located between all them having all those choices in markets. That's good because typically I think you have one or two or whatever. You know, <laughs> you got to go a ways to get the. 
other one. You know? mm-hmm. No, we got Vons, we got Ralphs, we got Food for Less, we got Johns, we get Stater Brothers, we get the Trader Joe's packet, <laughs> we get probably a few more that I can't even think of right now. Speaking of markets, I'm about to pet, I'm about to vent. I got a pet peeve. What is it with these people that first of all they do something rude and try to like backpedal a little bit, whatever, and then want to get an attitude because you're not. I'm not doing cartwheels. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. At this particular store that we shop at, it's called Audi. Mm-hmm. Or that's the way, it's A-L-D-I. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Aldi. Uh-huh. Aldi. Aldi. Yeah. Audi. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> they used to have a policy, and I, I, 